Hello and welcome back to AP Precalc. I am Mr. Sullivan. Sometimes people just call me Sully. I'm here. We're going to be talking today about logarithmic expressions. Here we have Mr. Bean and Mr. Kelly, and they're doing their not logarithmic expressions, but they are doing their algebra rhythmic expressions. Um, sorry for the poor pun, but <laughs> those are guys dancing with some uh, algebra rhythm. All right, let's see what we're talking about here with logarithmic expressions. So the big idea is this. We now have these things called logs. Maybe you've seen them before. The log base B, that's what we say, base B of C equals A. All right, if and only if B to the exponent of A equals C. So for example, all right, we have a couple of constraints, but for example, if I have a base four, it is still my base when I rewrite it as an exponent. So log base of four of 16 is two because four to the second equals 16. Because four times four equals 16, the value of this log, when the base is four, of 16, how many exponents do I need of this base to get to 16? I need two. That's what logs are. How many of this base do I need to get to 16? I need two. All right, now we have a couple constraints. So we cannot have a negative log. We're not doing those, all right? Can't have negative bases, all right? And B can also not equal one. That's our big constraints right there. So when you run into this, if B is, B is less than uh, or equal to zero, can't have that, and it cannot equal one, all right? So it's got a um, couple of things you just want to be watching out for, some tricks there. All right, let's take a look at this, and let's rewrite these so we get in our head. So we want to rewrite these as exponents. So again, this is log base 3 of 81 equals 4. I like saying it base 3 because it, it helps me. That means my base is 3, and my exponent is 4 because it's how many exponents or how many of these 3s do I need to get to 81? I need 4 of them. So 3 to the 4th power equals 81. All right, let's come over here. I have base 16. So 16 to the exponent of 1 half equals 4. Now this one people might be like, what? Uh, fractional exponents, remember, the bottom is the root. So this essentially is the same thing as the square root of 16 equals 4, and yes, it definitely does. All right, so we're saying how many of these 16s do I need to get to 4? I need to take a half of them, square root power. All right, Let's come down here. Let's rewrite these following exponents as logarithms. So again, I write log base. All right, what is my base here? My base is 125 of 5 equals, and then my exponent always goes to the other side. All right, because the third root of 125 is 5. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125, so 125 to the third power. Boom. This is saying the log base 125 of 5. How many of these do I need to get to 5? I need one third. I need a third root of them. All right, let's take a look at this one. So I have log base 10 of 1,000 equals 3. All right, now, this is very uh, important. This is called the common log. All right, Woo, common log. And that is base 10. Anytime we are base 10, we don't write this base 10. We just write log of 1,000 equals 3. That's very important. Don't let me see you writing this log base 10. This is like saying x. I don't write the 1x. This is the same thing. Log base 10. Anytime I have base 10, that's a common log. All right? That means we're going to write it this way. Log 1,000 equals 3. We all have to understand that when you see that, that's base 10. And I know, all right, if I'd seen, if I was given this, what is log of 100? I could say, ah, I know that's 10 to the second equals 100, right? All right, let's try some of these. Oh, look at that log of 100. Here we go. So I want to find the value. I'm going to find show you this a very long way. I know that you're welcome. 
So the first thing I want to do is write this as an exponent. So this is base 10. So base 10 to the exponent of x, or y or z, equals 100. So at this step, you could say to yourself, what power of 10 equals 100? Well, I know that that's 2. But I'm going to do it a little bit longer. And I'll show you why. It's going to be helpful. So I'm going to write this. Now I have 10 to the x and 10 to the second. The bases are the same, therefore the exponents must be the same. So the value of log of 100 is 2 because 10 to the second power is 100. All right, now let's try it over here. 2 to the y equals 1 over 32. Now this is why I like writing this out. I need to find a base of 2 that equals 1 over 32. The first thing I want you to remember is some negative exponents. When I have a fraction, I have a all the happy stuff is down here. I'm going to put it on top. Anytime I change top to bottom, I have to have a negative exponent. All right, so now I need to ask myself, what power of 2 is 32? 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 2 to the negative fifth is 1 over 32. Therefore, y equals negative 5. So the value of this log, log base 2 of 1 over 32, is negative 5. Again, remember the negative is this fractional part here, makes it negative. Let's go down here to number 7. 4, let's call this z. So 4 to the z equals 25. Well, is there a power of 4 that equals 25? 4 squared is 16, and 4 to, no. This cannot be done without the use of a calculator. All right, so now we're going to show you how to do it on a calculator. And we're going to ask for pretty standard three decimal places each time. So on your TI calculator, if you have a different brand of calculator, I'm sorry, you'll have to figure that out. All right, what I'm going to show you is you're going to go to math, this button right here, and if you go up, it's faster. If you go down, it doesn't matter. You find where it says log base, all right? Log base, I press enter, and now I have log base, and I can put it just like I see it. Log base of 4 over of 25, I type it in, and it is... 2.3219, that 9 makes that a 2, so 2.322. So log 4 of 25 is 2.322. All right. Look at this. This is the common log, right? Log base 10. On your calculator, you have a special um, button for lo a common log. You could have, do, of course, do log base 10 of that. All right. We're doing log of 39 but this button right here takes care of that that's your base 10 right here and you'll see here this is base 10 look at this the x the second function that is 10 to what power it's an automatic feature on your button all right or on your calculator so log of 39 gives me 1.5910 or 1.591 1 Now, if you don't have a calculator that does log base, all right, log base, and you can't do these, you're going to need to find something called the change of base formula, all right? And in that case, ask your teacher how to use the change of base formula where you can use the common log to find these all of the time, all right? But it is, you know... The time where most of you should have that button on there already. Okay? All right, so we're going to talk about something here. Um, let's say we had a linear scale. All right, now you could imagine this is a one dimension or a two dimension where you have to plot things, okay? But right now we're just going to do one dimension. I want to talk about something. So this is a linear scale. Let's find our value of our scale here. So if I started this at zero, I have one, two, three, four, five different things I could do. So let's see how big each of my things each my scale needs to be to make it equal or somewhat equal. So uh, 10,160 seconds divided by 5 
And then each one of these needs to be about 2,000. I'm just going to put 2,000 here. So this would be 2,000 seconds, 4,000 seconds, 6,000 seconds, 8,000 seconds, and 10,000 seconds. All right. And this is the average video length in seconds. So Sully has an average video length of 500. So, okay, that's roughly going to be about here. So I'm going to put an S for Sully. Bruss is about 8.30. That's uh, uh, roughly about here, right? That's B. Uh, Bean is 14.40. Way to go, Mr. Bean. That's going to be somewhere in here. Oh, these are not exact. Sorry, guys. And then all the way down here, Mr. Kelly, 10,160. Mr. Kelly loves to make it a videos. All right. Uh, what do you see is wrong with this? First of all, like this data is so spread out. It, it's not very conducive, right? This is this is really close together, and this is so far. It's it's an outlier of this data, okay? And it really kind of screws up everything. This is a linear scale because every value here goes up the same. It's a constant rate here, correct? All right. So these values are equal. They're each two thousand. That doesn't work for me, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what's called a logarithmic scale. And a logarithmic scale, we're gonna do base 10, is not gonna go up the same amount of units. All right, I'm gonna start at 10 to the zero. Then I'm gonna go 10 to the first. In fact, this goes up a power of 10. So each unit is not necessarily the same distance, but it is the same scale. So from one to the next, I would multiply it by a power of 10. That's how I get to the next one, all right? So I know it seems that going from 10 to 100, 10 to the first, 10 to the second, from 10 to 100, that's not a big leap, right? That's 90. But going from 10,000 to 100,000, that's a major leap. That's big, right? That's super big. But the thing here is it's the same amount. I multiply this by 10 to get here. I multiply this by 10 to get here. It's the same scalar. It goes up the same amount multiplicatively, all right? I'm not even sure if multiplicatively is a word, but it sounds awesome. So let's take a look at this. To do this now, we're going to put, we're going to find the log because this is the base 10. So I'm going to find the log of all these values and plot the log of all these values. So the first thing I just want you to do is go into your calculator and find all these logs, uh, all right, and then we're going to plot them down and see what happens. All right, let's pause the video for you to get there. All right, here we are. So log of 5y was 2.7, uh, brus was 2.9, that's here. Again, I'm looking at the exponents, so 2 and 3, 2.7. 2.9 is here, closer to 3. 3.2 for bean, so this is 10 to the 3.2 is about here. That's Mr. Bean. And 4.0, Mr. Kelly is right here because it's 10 to the 4th. That's Mr. Kelly. All right, so when I'm using the logarithmic scale, I'm looking at that exponent and finding where the value is. Now, you can see these are not as spread out as they were up here, right? Is this a great scale to use? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. All right, they're still kind of close together, aren't they? That's what we need to do, though. We need to find a good scale. Let's try another one. I want you to do two things. I want you to use these numbers, all right? I want you to find and plot for a logarithmic scale with base 5. In other words, you're going to do log base 5 of 10,160 and then plot it. Log base 5 of the rest and then plot it, okay? Then when you're done with that, I want you to try these. So I'm going to pause your screen. Whoops. Pause your screen right here and try those on your own. All right, and then we'll go over them. All right, so I took the log base five of these. I got 3.9, 4.2, 4.5, and 5.7. Down here, I plotted those. Again, I remember 5.7, for example, is the exponent of five. So I found 5.7 is about here. 4.5, 4.2, and then 3.9 is somewhere in there, all right? So three different scales. Linear has the most vast difference. These other ones actually look like it's grouped very similarly. You can see the data. And again, you could do this two-dimensionally as well, where you have both sides are a logarithmic scale. All right. 
Let's take a look at these. So the first one, base 16, so it goes down here. Equal to what? That goes here. The exponent goes on the opposite side. So log base 16 of 8 is 3 over 4. Base 32 to my exponent of 2 fifths equals 4 because the fifth root of 32 is 2, and 2 to the second power is 4. So I plug 5 in. I want to know what is log base 25 of 5. So I rewrote it as an exponent. 25 to the y equals 5 to the first. So 25 is 5 to the second. So now I have 2y equaled 1. And so I divide by 2, y equals 1 half. In other words, my base is 25. The one half of that would give me 5. It's the power of 1 half. All right, over here. Can't find that exact, so I put in my calculator, did log base 6 of 12, and I got 1.387. That's it for today. It should be a pretty quick lesson. Best of luck to you. Don't forget to go out there and dream big. See you next time.